everybody, it's Mary Jo with Chat and Chalk, C-H-A-T-A-N-D-C-H-A-L-K dot com. I'm so excited because tonight I'm going to try and give you guys three projects. All bam, 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 all fast, easy, super fun and um, easy breezy. So I want to be able to make sure to show you guys all the fun. Okay, so let's get started really quick here. And the very first project I'm gonna do is something that y'all could do with your scrapbook paper. So this is simply a piece of scrapbook paper that I've put into a frame, okay? And the glass is gonna reflect my um, light, but you know, it's what it is. So then you're gonna take your transfer. This one I'm gonna use for, um, <clears throat> as a fall one, okay? So I'm gonna use, gotta move my bow, my bow's next. Um, I'm gonna use the house cutouts. So we have these really neat um, wooden houses that look like this, okay? I make gingerbread houses out of them, by the way. Um, so we have these little houses, but they have these cutout transfers that go right on top of them. So if you wanted to add a little, um, you know, decor there on your house, you could do that. And it, it's a whole set, so it's really cool. And we have the gingerbread houses too. But I'm gonna use just the transfer without the house on this. Now, the beauty of this is the fact that you can make it for one season, and then since we're gonna be using chalk paste, you can spray this down, erase it, change out your um, background paper into whatever you want. You could theme it up along with your craft room. Whatever you want to do for your season, right? I gotta make sure I get the bubbles out. I'm real notorious for that, especially when I'm going fast. I wanna work fast. I wanna show you guys everything. Uh, make sure that your chalk paste is that sour cream consistency. And I know if you've chalked with me and I'm your designer, you hear me say that a lot. I had one lady say, well, I don't eat sour cream. What does that mean? And I said, Greek yogurt. And she said, oh my goodness, I don't eat Greek yogurt. So how about if I say, I don't know what, um, thick whipped cream? I don't know, I don't know what to say. Sour cream, Greek yogurt, thinned out ricotta cheese. It sounds to me like she didn't eat dairy. So, you know, I don't know. It's a dairy thing for me, I'm just saying. Okay, so we're gonna stick, smear, and peel, you guys. And you see how it's just given me a nice, subtle look of a home. And let me bring that up to you so that you can see it because I know you might not even be able to see that. Do you see how it's real subtle? Here it looks amazing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and dry that because we're gonna layer on top of that. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to make a door tag using our new Couture Club transfer, which is so stinking amazing. Now, on this, you can put a big monogram here. I mean, the possibilities are endless, but we're just gonna put family because that's, to me, that's what, um, or we could put gather, or something like that, you know, just a word across. But um, to me, it's about family. And we can add some, see, we can add some doors or windows or the such. Um, but I'm going to put family here. And I'm just going to actually bring it right. Do I want it that way or that? Yeah, I want it that way. No, I want it this way. I want it across the top. And I'm going to do that in a darker brown. And then I'm going to do my doors and windows in a brown heart because to me, that's just what it's about, right? So we're just making this for our fall look. Now, is it all thankful and, and you know, piggy and, you know, stuffed turkey? No, it's about family for me. So I use the fall colors and then I'm just adding some um, fun embellishments onto this picture frame. Now, you could get the dollar store, you guys. You can make gifts. Um, I'm telling you guys, you, you gotta listen to me because people love homemade gifts. I love them, don't you? I mean, I love the fact that somebody took the time. Even if it only cost them a dollar, they took their time out of their day and made something beautiful for me, 
right? You know what I really want to do with this is I really want to lay this um, white back on. Well, no, I can't because I already did the family. But um, let's add a door here with a heart. And it'll kind of just be a home. It's going to be a home with a heart on the inside, just right there in the middle. And that's going to be what we're going to use. This is going to be it, guys. It's going to be simple and it looks stylish and you can change it out. You can change out the background. Look at that. You can change out the, I love this. And it's not like overly busy or anything like that. The next thing we're gonna do is gonna be a lot more detail. But um, this is just really simple and easy. And when you're done with this picture frame, I'm sorry about the light ring, but when you're done with this picture frame, you simply spray it with water, wash it off, change out your scrapbook paper in the back, and you can have a whole new look. Save the frame, that way you don't have to store all your stuff, right? So let's go on to the next project. I'm really excited about this project. I did one the other night. Well, let's do two. Um, oh, I actually have three more ready for you guys. So I am all about, and don't forget the gingerbread houses are on special on my website so that you guys know I have bundle sets for those. So if you want to get a house and give it a try, then you just go to chatandchalk.com, follow the prompt, or use the email that's right here. I'll post it right here in the comments for you. Um, so if you guys know me, you'll know that I'm pretty cheap. I, I, I enjoy making new things out of old things. So we're going to do that right here and now. I got to move this aside. This is for my door tag. Um, so... Chalk Couture also has an ink line, I-N-K, ink line, and we can ink on towels and linens and all the things. So I went downstairs and I got some of my towels out of my drawer. Now, y'all, these are Pampered Chef towels that I've had for eons, okay? I love them, but you know what? They need a facelift. I'm tired of looking at them. Look, there's a little smudge here. Um, you know what? I do this with my shirts too. If I have, I have some LuLaRoe shirts that I really love, but I get tired of, you know, just plain, right? So I'll just ink on them and make something pretty on them. So I'm gonna do these two. One of them I noticed has a lot of stains. So I'm gonna ink on that and stay in cover up those stains. So what I'm using here is our ink mat and it's sticky enough that it holds and makes my linen or my, um, well, essentially linen. I do pillowcases also. I have one done here. I can show you, but, um, so pillowcases, linen, anything like that, it holds it flat. So it's not, see how it's not wiggling around. So when I put my transfer on it, and this one is gonna say leftovers are for quitters. Cause isn't that true? But so find your old things and give them a facelift. Make yourself happy too, right? Um, I'm all about, what did I do with my ink? Here it is. Um, I'm all about making things fun and new and you know, why not? Don't just throw it away. I am all about using it until it is dead, dead, dead. So the ink's a lot runnier, okay? Do not wa add water to your ink. The ink is much thinner, and you're simply gonna silk screen that ink right on, and you just need a little dab, uh, enough for it to soak in. Now, you see how it's not moving? It's because of that ink mat. I have that under there, and so it's gonna help it not to bleed out underneath because my transfer's nice and flat on the material. It's not wiggling and jiggling. Gotta get those forks in there. Just, I'm telling you, I'm just doing just a little smitch there. And then put the rest back, take off as much as you can. But you notice how my towel's not moving and it's all oh, that ink mat, you guys. I'm telling you, it is the secret weapon, next to the ink, of course. The ink comes in a whole bunch of colors, okay? So it's not just black. Black is our most popular color, though. I will tell you that. Now, are you ready for this? So what you do, look at that. I love it. So now I have a new towel, right? 
<clears throat> I have a new towel ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this on this mat overnight to dry. Then I heat set it with an iron. I put, put a piece of parchment paper over it, high, no steam, iron it for four minutes and you're good to go. It's like, what are you talking about, Mary Jo? I can make all of my towels all fun. Let me do the other one real quick, okay? I'm gonna take this off carefully so it can lay flat to dry. I'll throw it over here to the side. Try not to smush it together. Let me do this one. I told you it's all stained up. So that's even a more of a reason to try and uh, make it look a little better, right? So flatten it out. Inking is so easy and fun, but I suggest you use chalk first. Get used to the process, right? And this next one is gonna say cook, eat, and pray. I love this. And um, the other, it comes in a four piece set. The other one says made from scratch. And oh my goodness, I can't remember what the fourth one is um, off the top of my head. I have it in a book and I don't have time to get it because I wanna show you guys the other two projects. So I gotta hurry up here. And again, I'm just gonna use the black because first of all, that's what I have. And second of all, you could make it as fancy as you wanted and use all the colors, do all the things, right? Um, cook, pray, eat. I love it. Love it. And again, this can be Thanksgiving-ish, you know. Um, I mean, that's what you're going to be doing, right? Cook, praying, and eating. Um, and I have my little towels that are Thanksgiving color. I also use these in the summer. I have different towels for different seasons, you guys. I'm one of those. Yeah, my house isn't that, you know, matchy matchy, but I am one of those. So when you guys see me, when I bring the camera back, you guys should be able to notice that I got my braces off this week. What? Shut the front door. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside for you guys, but look how nice that looks. Take my old stained up towel and make it all pretty. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Put that beauty in your life, right? Okay, next thing. This is our door board. Oh, I wanna show you how to wash these transfers real quick because we have to wash these guys because it is um, the ink. So when you're using the ink, you wanna wash them right away. So we're gonna lay this down on our towel. I use microfiber, guys. Take the mister. This is Vicky's favorite thing, right? The mister. And I have to show you guys Sean's favorite thing too, okay? I'm gonna show you that in a minute. I was gonna do it tonight as the project, but I didn't do it. I know, woe is me, because I wanted to get all these fun little items in here for you. I know, Mary Jo, crazy woman. So you just wash it real good with that water, pushing that ink right through the screen. That's really all you gotta do. Turn it over, and when you um, get your items, you're gonna have a white backer. And let me show you here. It looks like that. <clears throat> so you have this white backer. One side is shiny and one side is plain. Okay, your shiny always goes to your sticky so that and you let it dry, you know, or you dry it. That's what I'm doing right now, just drying it, getting that little excess off. Then you literally take that, stick it on like that, rub it down, and it's up and ready to go for the next time. Okay, so that's all you have to do. Shiny to sticky, press it on, use it again. So that's how we design Love and Repeat. So we've been designing tonight. We're loving it by looking at it. And when we're ready to erase it off, we get to repeat. We can wash it off and start again. Let's do this quick, quick. Now, if you were on my VIP, you saw me make one of these the other night. I just love this. This turned out so pretty. So this is our, um, the design I'm gonna be using with the wreath is our Couture Club, um, transfer of the month. So we have a club where you can for $19 and no shipping, 
we don't charge you shipping um, for no shipping, you can go and get an exclusive transfer from Chalk Couture every month along with Chalk Paste Colors. They have them designed for you. And you get that for 19 bucks. I'm like, shut up, that is so good. So this is our Buffalo plaid though. It comes in an 18 by 18 size. And I'm not even, since I only have a little piece of it, I'm just gonna try and get a little of that Buffalo plaid look going, right? I'm not a Buffalo plaid girl, but I know so many people out there are. So I wanna make sure that they get to see they're happy too, right? I would be making this like all oh, flamingos and tropical. But, uh, you know, that's just not the norm, y'all. So I'm just going to, or gingerbread guys. Well, gingerbread guys are cute. Um, I'm just gonna do that, right? Now it's gonna be rustic looking and vintage looking. It's not gonna be perfect like you took your Cricut and die cutted it or anything like that. And it's not supposed to. So I have my nice rustic buffalo plaid there and I'll wash this transfer in just a few minutes. Um, Cause I wanna show you guys all these things. I wanna teach you how to make stuffing. Um, you're like, what are you talking about? I'm gonna dry this real quick and I'm gonna let it dry then. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the transfer. The transfer comes, it's kind of a rustic deer transfer. Okay, it has this little deer guy and it has this wreath. And um, I'm gonna bring this right down to the middle and lay it right there. Let me show you what comes with it. And this comes with it. This little deer head comes with it. And then Season's Greetings comes with it, okay? So you're getting a nice, um, you can make cards with this. You could you could do so much with this um, set is what I love, that you can take all these little elements and just do something extra with it, and you'll be good to go. So let me show you here using our multi-tool. That's our little detail tool. I'm gonna go ahead and get my red going here, right? And like I said, if you guys were on my live the other night, thank you. Make sure you're sharing me out and about. Sharing is caring. Follow me on YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, all of that happy. And then um, share it out and about because why, you know, why are you keeping your fun to yourself is my question. Because if this were shoes, y'all be telling everyone there was a shoe sale. Don't you even be thinking I don't know that because I know I'm I'm just like you. Um, I'd be out there doing that. I was told yesterday by the ladies, I did a class yesterday and it was wonderful. We had 10 people in the class and it was at our house and it was really nice. Um, but let me just share with you that if you want to do a Zoom class right now, no matter where you are in the country, I will do a Zoom with you. You just um, purchase your items and then I send you a Zoom link and you and your friends come on the Zoom and we have an awesome time. And I sit there with you and since I'm on Zoom and it's real time, then I can sit there and help you, right? If you have an issue. Like right here, I have a little tad bit of an issue. So that's showing me that my transfer wasn't quite clean. So I'm going to go ahead and wash that because I'm going to use the same transfer again and I'm going to do it um, upside down, right? But see, I got a little bit, I can tell you right where it is, a little bit of chalk paste right there. So I'm going to go ahead, spray the back, get that all nice and dry, clean that up, and then I'm going to just go ahead and use it again. That's all I had to do was just clean that back side up. <coughs> okay, I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute, which I am, right? Are you guys excited about this one? This is a really fun, fun um, transfer. And I love how you can make a wreath, <coughs> how you could... Um, offset it as ever you wanted. You could do three pieces and make it bigger. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to do the berries, you can do the berries. You don't have to do the holly, you can do the holly. There's just so much. You can take those little holly pieces 
um, these little holly leaves and just put them on your cards as little corners or something like that. It is so much fun. Um, and you know, I'm working fast because you don't want your chalk paste to dry. If your chalk paste dries, it's not, it's actually just gonna lift it up off of your surface and you're gonna be going, Mary Jo, what did I do? And I'm gonna say, you talk too much. And you're gonna be saying, but you taught me. And I'm gonna be saying, I know, I'm sorry. So you just keep working fast and keep going, going. If you're talking, just keep your head down and keep going, right? We're gonna lift this up. That's so purdy. It is so purdy, you guys. Make sure you always have that little wet towel there for your fingers because when you're working with red and black, it jumps. I don't know why it jumps, but it does. I've got something, oh, it was my cord on my wheel. Okay, so now what I wanna do is this thing called a chalk wash. I'm gonna set this to the side real quick and I'm gonna do a chalk wash here with this um, tag. And I love doing chalk washes. So you just spray it a little, spray your towel with your mister, dip it in. And I want this one to be dark because I have a big, beautiful bow to go on it. And I'm just gonna wash my tag. This is our mini tag and we have these. And then we also have sets of transfers that go with the mini tag. So you can make them um, whatever color you want. You can make them into your um, gift tags for your packages and all. Okay, so I'm just making this, I want it darker actually. I want it really darker because I want it, I want it Merry Christmas to be red, red on here. Okay, now I can just take this so I don't see the streaks and kind of just rub it with this damp cloth. And you can make it as light or dark as you like. Okay, so when you're doing the chalk wash, you can use any color. It doesn't have to be black. You could do this red, you could do this purple, you could do it pink, but since what I'm doing is black and white, then we're gonna do it black. I'm gonna dry it here real quick. Usually, if you are working with your chalk paste, it takes about five minutes to dry without um, a uh, blow dryer or a heat gun or whatever. Don't heat it up like you would embossing, just dry it. Um, I will tell you too, just word for the wise, God protected this family like you would not believe just um, last Sunday, not yesterday. Well, I guess you guys are watching me in November, but so the second weekend before the last in October. But anyways, we were at church and we had a little argument on the way home, so we didn't stop for lunch like we were going to. And don't you know that one of my cats had turned on the heat gun and it was sitting under a towel and that towel almost caught on fire. So I just say, thank you, Jesus, for the protection, right? Um, so let's go ahead then. We're gonna put this deer right in the middle. Now, the other neat thing you could do is if you don't like the deer, then put a monogram in the middle. Put your um, monogram. You know, I'm in the South, y'all. That's what we do. We put monograms on every stinking thing that we own because we're just so proud of our names. So just put a monogram right there. I would put an M, right? Mary Jo Markle. Sparkle with Markle. Um, there we go. But we're gonna put this little deer this time. This comes again with that um, Club Couture. Uh, we're gonna do Season's Greetings at the bottom and we're gonna do that in red. I'm not gonna get to show you a stuffy. I'm gonna run out of time. I'll have to do stuffies later with you guys. Or if you come to my um, VIP page, and I'll be posting that right here, but, or if you go to chatandchalk.com and type in Where's Mary Jo, there's a whole landing page and you can go find me and it shows you where I am and what I do and all my fun. And it's a blog. I have a blog on there on how to make Kahlua pork and how to harvest bananas because we have bananas from our tree and um, how that all works. Look at this so far. What, what? You're saying, Mary Jo, what are you gonna do with that? Well, I'm gonna show you. On here, I think I'm gonna put Merry Christmas right there like that, but I want to do something else first. I'm going to do Merry Christmas in red. Where did my, I'm going to take this Buffalo plaid 
And I'm just gonna add a little bit of white at the bottom, right? If I can find my white, here's my white. So I'm gonna do reverse bu buffalo plaid, right? I had black and white there. So let me, ah, let me get this out of the way and do the white right here. And my buffalo plaid, this, this has been such a loved on pattern. Um, I've made t-shirts and again, I'm not gonna um, make it all perfect. I want it, I want it hanging over. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want it a little feathery here. Um, but my buffalo plaid has been love, love, love. I made t-shirts with it. I've made uh, vintage trucks. I've made, oh, that's what I wanted to show you was the vintage truck. That's what Sean's favorite as you guys is the vintage truck. He told me, he told me one day, I know. And then I'm going to take this Merry Christmas just from another set that I had. And I'm going to put it on here in red. Just like this. Merry Christmas. Okay, so am I going fast enough for you guys? Because I'm almost done with this one. I'm not going to be able to show you stuffies. But come to my VIP page and you're like, what's a stuffy? It's literally a little stuffed, a stuffed fun embellishment that you can add to all kinds of fun things. Oops, I stuck my finger in my, I can fix that later. Okay, I'm going to take my hot glue gun or you can take a nice big glue dot and put it here or any of your adhesives. Now, if you don't want it permanent, then use your glue dots, okay? Because then you can change this out. And then of course, since we're in the South, we're gonna take our beautiful, beautiful bow that we have made. Uh, yes, I do that. I have a friend that does it for me. I don't do it because I'm a hot mess with it. You can only imagine. It'd be scary, y'all. It'd be like so scary. But look at this, how pretty. I'd trim that up a little and glue it down. How pretty is that? You guys, what? Look at that. How fun would that be hanging on your door? I'm just saying, it's looking pretty. Okay guys, so I think that's what I have for you guys tonight. I wanted to show you a stuffy. I can show you, I don't have any here. I've made them, but anyways, go to my webpage. Oh, here's one. Here's just a little one that I made. And I've made pumpkins. I've made the vintage truck into a stuffy. But see, you simply cut it out, add your chalk paste, glue it around. It's a nice little puppy. I have stockings. The stockings were hung. Um, that one's a lot of fun. But um, yeah, I know it's all fall and everything, but you know what? We're getting ready for Christmas too. And I think people are ready and enjoying the moment, enjoying the family, enjoying the Thanksgiving. And then, um, but go ahead and prepare and get your stuff ready for all your gifts for your friends. Okay, thank you for joining me. And remember to go to www.chatandchalk.com and look for my specials here. There's just so much fun. Okay, aloha everyone and happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Bye.